All right, guys. If performance is what you want, performance is what you'll get. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. Of course, you guys have been rocking with me for a while, most of you probably. But if you haven't, if you're new, I talk about primarily fragrances on this channel, but I also think it's important to talk about some fashion tips, some style tips, some grooming, hygiene stuff, you know, other things that matter <laughs> as well. I think if you're gonna be gonna be trying to smell your best every day, I think, hey, why not look your best? So that's what we try to talk about on this channel, man. So if you're into looking good every day and smelling great every day, you're gonna enjoy the content on my channel, man, because we get all into it over here. So consider subscribing to the channel. Make sure you enable notifications by hitting the bell icon as well. So that way, anytime you get a new video or anytime I upload a new video, I should say, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. So guys, on today's video, I want to be talking about fragrances that have great performance. Now, I want to make sure I start by categorizing or explaining what great is to me. Most fragrances average between that four, four, four and a half to six, six and a half uh, hour uh, performance window. Most fragrances that you come across are going to kind of fall into that range. Now, for me, when I talk about performance, I'm not talking about if I have the fragrance on my skin and I have to dig all the way into my hand to still kind of pick it up. That's not performance. But if I can get about here or so and the fragrance is still, I can still smell it to me, it's still performing. So the fragrances I'm going to talk about today all have 10 plus hours. 10 plus hours, we don't have to get into specifics after that because that is exceptional performance. All right, now I'm going to do a series on this because I have probably another 10 or so that will probably fit into this category. So we're going to start with these 10 and then we'll probably come back next week and talk about uh, 10 others. So that's what we're getting into, man. So if you're into the whole performance uh, aspect, the fragrances, the performance, the projection, the CIs, that kind of stuff, you're going to enjoy this video. So I'm going to talk about 10 when we come back and we'll run the intro. We're going to get into it. So if you want to see what I have on the list, you guys know the routine, man. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. Coffee time. Happy feet. I've got those happy feet. Nah. 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 The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to jump into this video. Quick style tip, man. I've said this before, but today, guys, I am rocking a flannel suit. Navy blue flannel suit. I uh, have a um, button-down collar shirt. So this is more of a casual look. Flannel suits, a little bit more of a casual suit. Now, you can dress it up with a tie as well, but uh, they're very good for casual wear, uh, more casual settings, I would say that. Um, although again, you can dress them up, but they're also great for fall and winter weather. Uh, fall and winter is a perfect time to wear a suit that has a heavier wool fabric, like a flannel, um, tweed. Uh, there's some other fabrics out there as well that are that, as well that are good for the fall and winter, but flannel is one of my go-to. So uh, that's something I want you guys to keep in mind. Fabrics come in different weights and things of that nature. Flannel is a heavier wool fabric, so. Uh, get yourself some flannel in your wardrobe this fall and winter. Now, the first fragrance that I'm going to talk about today comes from the brand of Profumum Roma. And uh, I think this is a highly underrated brand. Not a lot of people kind of get into Profumum Roma uh, for whatever reason that may be. Um, to my knowledge, they don't do a whole lot of collabs with influencers and stuff like that. That could be the case because it's not that the fragrances are good. But anyway, I love this one. It's an animalic amber fragrance, and this is called Ombre Adi. And here's the bottle. Just some gorgeous stuff, man. I love these fragrances. They have a very high oil concentration in these fragrances. And this one has amber, incense, myrrh. It is extremely smoky, all right? And again, this is a very animalic fragrance. So if you don't like fragrances that really 
you know, pronounce themselves or announce themselves, I would say when you put it on, this is not going to be it for you. Now, I would think that anybody that really loves and enjoys an amber fragrance is going to love this because it smells like pure, smoky, resinous amber. That's exactly what this is. Nothing less, nothing more. And again, this thing hangs around 10 plus hours. Again, we won't get into 10, 11, 12. It hangs around 10 plus hours on the skin. So definitely a monstrous performer right here. Uh, there's a few others from this brand that really stick around for a long time as well. You may see one of those on the next uh, installment of this series. But man, you guys got to check this out. Get your nose on it from the brand of Profuma Roma. Make sure you check out Ombre Audio. And really quickly, guys, before I move on, I just want to mention this again because it's going to be running for at least another week or so. Guys, head over to NovitasPlatforms.com. They have an amazing, amazing sale that's going on right now. Um, again, if you don't have any of the five fragrances that I did with Novices Platforms, make sure you grab those Divine Aphrodisiac, Sartorial Nui, Old Devil Nair, um, and of course we have Lyric. But you can't get Serenade anymore, which I wish you could because it's such a phenomenal fragrance and would probably be on this list, honestly, um, because it's a really great performer. But anyway, they have some other great fragrances as well. So make sure you head over to Novices Platforms and, and grab some bottles, man. Um, it's one of those, the more you buy, the more you save. I'll make sure I link the details down below. All right, guys. Now, this next fragrance comes from a brand as well that has several fragrances that really push as regards to the performance. And this comes from the brand of Buddha. See it Victorious. This fragrance is called Green Sapphire. Here is the bottle. Just gorgeous stuff, man. Check that out. Why, is it, why are these bottles so beautiful? But this is a fragrance that has raspberry, pine, saffron violet leaves and it has cedar wood again this pine cedar wood uh combination with the raspberry those are the three main notes raspberry pine cedar deep rich woody uh fragrance and again sticks around all day long and not to mention the fact that this thing is a compliment machine seriously um I would say, honestly, most of you that would probably smell this fragrance when you initially smell it, you wouldn't probably think that it would be a highly complimented fragrance, but trust me when I tell you, for me, it is. So anyway, if you're looking for something that has great performance, which is really what this list is really about, make sure you check this out, guys. From the brand of Boulder City of Victorious, this is Green Sapphire. All right, the next fragrance up on the list, this is going to be for all you guys out there that have a sweet tooth. I'm about to give you the fragrance that is going to be the cure to your sweet tooth. This is gonna quench your desire because this is a gourmand fragrance through and through. From the brand of Narcotica, this is Dolce Diablo. Dolce Diablo, check out that beautiful bottle. Narcotica has some beautiful bottles, man. I love this fragrance right here. Apricot, cognac, honey, vanilla, sandalwood, tonka bean, chocolate. Again, you name it, if it's sweet, it's, it's in here. Again, very, very sweet, very, very, um, you know, deep and rich. That honey in here, the apricot gives that unique flair uh, in the opening. And again, this is something that you got to smell. Now, all the fragrances from this particular brand are straight to parfum. Obviously, that contributes to the uh, performance. This one, again, the namesake fragrance, Narcotica, uh, Doza, um, even the uh, newer fragrance, which is a little bit more of a fresher kind of tropical fragrance, lasts a long time. Um, Narco Oasis. Check this brand out, guys. If you're looking for some great quality, high-end perfumery, this is a brand I highly recommend you look into. But this fragrance is an absolute stunner. And if you love, again, gourmand fragrances, you're going to love this. So check it out. Again, this is called Dose Diablo. All right, guys, next up on the list, if you're talking about fragrances that really perform, this is a fragrance that needs no introduction. From the brand of Louis Vuitton, this is Ombre Nomad. Ombre Nomad. And now what you're really going to get with this fragrance, guys, is a raspberry incense, rose oud leather, saffron. There's birch wood in here as well, so it's really, really smoky. Heavy on the smoke and incense on this fragrance with that rose oud combination. Uh, what's kind of, what kind of separates this from a lot of rose oud fragrances is how incense -y and smoky this thing is. 
Now, again, is this going to be for everybody? Absolutely not. But if you like Middle Eastern uh, fragrances, you're probably going to love it. All right. Absolutely love this stuff. When I first got it, I remember wearing it out. Uh, my wife and I were in Atlanta. We wore it out. And um, it just, it was just, it, it encompassed me and just kind of gave me that great scent bubble all night long. Um, so make sure, again, if you're looking for a good rose oud, again, really incensey, really smoky, that's going to last all day. This is one I highly recommend from Louis Vuitton. This is Ombre Nomad. All right, guys, now the next fragrance that I want to talk about comes from the brand of Roja Parfums. Now, you're going to have to pay to play if you want to get this one because it does cost a pretty penny, and I paid for this myself. This was my Christmas gift to myself uh, year before last, I want to say. But anyway, this is from the brand of Roja Parfums. This is called the Agalev. The Agalev, my favorite sheeper in my collection. Man, this thing has rose, peach, jasmine leather guidewood oak moss leather again just like most rose your pop on fragrances it has a laundry list of notes in here um but really what i get is the, the highlight to me is the peach the peach and of course the notes that make it a sheeper uh fragrance but it's called a fruity sheeper that's because of that peach and some other um fruity notes that are in the opening but anyway guys this thing lasts forever and I don't mind it lasting forever because it smells so doggone good. Oh my gosh, guys, you wear a suit, shirt and a tie, and throw a fragrance like this on, just next level stuff, man. So get a sample of it. I know it's expensive, but get a sample. If you like Sheepers, you're gonna love this one. And you're gonna love the fact that 10 hours into wearing it, you can still smell this stuff, trust me. And most people say, well, if you pay that much for it, it better. I get it, but it performs well, great. As a matter of fact, from the brand of Roger Parfums, check out Diablo. All right, guys, this next fragrance comes from the brand of Uniki Luxury, another brand that has most of their fragrances are straight to parfum concentrations. This one is called Crush On Me. This is Crush On Me. Two notes, caramel and patchouli, really sum this fragrance up. I think they say this has lime and ginger. Eh, I guess they do. I smell a little bit more of a, a little bit freshness to the fragrance, but it really is about patchouli and caramel. So again, this is another fragrance where I feel like you really have to have, kind of have that sweet tooth to really love and appreciate this fragrance. And you have to love patchouli because that caramel in here gives that sweetness. And of course, it's that chocolatey kind of variety of patchouli in here. And trust me, guys, this thing would not go away. So if you don't like this fragrance or a lot of the fragrances on this list, of course, then you're going to be in for a long day because you're going to be able to pick these things up uh, again, 10 plus hours into wearing them. But this is something that guys, you got to really smell this thing to understand how good Crush On Me is. It's a great date night fragrance, great for the fall and winter. But again, it's from the brand of Uniquely Luxury, Crush On Me. All right, guys, this next fragrance comes from the brand of Javoy Paris, and this is called Psychedelic. Or some people like to say psychedelic. And this is patchouli, amber, and vanilla. Man, this is kind of the, the, the standard for a lot of folks when you talk about a pure patchouli fragrance. The patchouli here is more of a green, kind of earthy, musky kind of uh, patchouli. But you get it a little bit sweetened up again with the, the amber in here. Some people even say this is more of an amber fragrance than patchouli. I can kind of see where they're coming from with that because it's kind of, I would say it's, if you wanted to kind of break it down between those two notes or chords, it was probably about 65% patchouli and then the rest amber. All right, so that's how I kind of classify it, but I don't knock people that really talk about how much of an amber fragrance this is as well. But anyway, it performs all day. It performs all day, the two primary notes and accords are what you typically find in base notes again patchouli amber love this stuff again if you love patchouli i think you'll enjoy this and of course you'll enjoy the fact that you can smell it on yourself all day from the brand of javoy paris this is psychedelic all right guys this next fragrance comes from a brand that has a fragrance that has been labeled the blue beast well if that fragrance is the blue beast this is the amber beast <laughs> this comes from the brand of amwaj and this is overture man Overture, man. Cognac, cumin, cinnamon, benzoin, patchouli, incense. Oh my God. Guys, listen, man. I'm wise does 
the quality of their fragrances is so like next level. And oftentimes the creati creativity of their fragrances is so next level. This is just, this is just perfumery at its best, sincerely. And again, this thing performs like a monster on my skin. For some people, it's a little bit challenging in the opening because of that cumin note in here, which is, you know, cumin cannot be the best, <laughs> most pleasant smelling note, especially by itself. But man, give it five minutes. This thing is just absolutely gorgeous when it dries down. And again, I love it. And I love the fact that it, again, winter time cuts through any temperature. This is that kind of fragrance, man. Wear this with a nice pea coat and scarf. Go out and about and, and enjoy it, man. From the brand of Unwise, Overture, man. Now, if you want something with a little bit more of a fresh scent profile that gives you that beast mode performance, I'm pretty sure you've heard about this fragrance and heard about the fact that it performed great, but I will mention it anyway here from the brand of Nishane. This is Hasibat. This is Hasibat, and of course, this is pineapple patchouli primarily and oak moss. Listen. Again, I, what can be said about this fragrance for me that's not, that hadn't already been said, not really sure. Um, I told a story before about when uh, during the pandemic when we were able to get back out. Um, around the first time we was able to get back out, when people started kind of lifted the, you know, the quarantine and that kind of stuff. I went out to TJ Maxx. I had a mask on. And I was buying some something from TJ Maxx. I don't remember what I was buying. Probably a fragrance. <laughs> I went into the store, the young lady had a mask on, and they still had the uh, the barriers up where, you know, for protection. So she could smell this fragrance through her mask and the protective um, barrier that was up between her and, I, her and myself, and she complimented it. That's how strong this fragrance is. And again, I've talked about before as well, when I spray this on my hand, about 30, 45 minutes in, I could still see a very very uh, present residue of oil. That's how concentrated this fragrance is. It's an extract to puff home and this thing lasts all day long. So if you're looking for something on a fresher side, this is one I highly recommend if you're looking for a great performer from Nishane, this is Hasiba. All right guys, now this next fragrance is from the brand Amazing Francis Kirkgon. And this is uh, in a more intense version of one of my favorite fragrances of all time. And that is this, Oud Satin Mood, the extract to puff home. Oud Satin Mood, the extract to Parfum. This fragrance is all about rose, oud, violet, saffron. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Now again, it smells just like the original to me for the most part. I think they may have added a little bit of a spicy cinnamon here um, compared to the original, but it performs a little bit better. Now the original I get great performance out of as well. That's giving me at least that eight hours, but this pushes it up to about that 10 hour mark. Um, again, so... Obviously, one of my favorite fragrances, you increase the performance of it a little bit, I'm all there for it. Um, I actually got this fragrance from my good friend, Ryan. He actually sent this to me because he knew I loved the fragrance so much. So, you know, I always shout him out. You know, I don't look for anything from anybody as far as my um, subscribers and things of that nature, but I don't have many people that reach out to me and say, hey man, I want to send you something. And I don't mind that. I'm just saying he's probably one of the only people, one of the few people that has done that. Um, on a consistent basis. Just sent me some fragrances for my birthday. So Ryan, shout out to you, my friend. Uh, but anyway, he, that's where I got this one from. I'm so happy to have this in my collection, man. From the brand of Mason Francis, Kirk John, a performance beast on my skin. Ooh, satin mood, the extract to parfum. And last but not least, guys, we are going back to the brand of Uniquey Luxury. Again, they're all extract to parfum from that particular brand. And this is called Kutai. This is called Kutai. Thai. This is whiskey, caramel, tobacco, and amber. Primarily another fragrance. If you love uh, tobacco, if you love um, patchouli, you're going to love this fragrance as well. All right. I'm thinking I should do a video where I talk about my favorite patchouli fragrances because I really enjoyed the note. It's one of my top six notes uh, in perfumery. But anyway, this stuff is Beronda from Nasamato on steroids. That's the best way for me to describe this fragrance. It sticks around all day long. So again, that's one of the things about fragrances that last all day long, guys. If you, it better be something that you enjoy because again, it's going to be there all day long. You're going to be picking up whiffs of it and wafts of it all day long when you wear these fragrances, especially because a lot of them are cold weather. 
uh, kind of fragrance scent profile. So when you're out and about and that wind is kind of hitting these fragrances, oh, it's just one of the things I love about this hobby, man. Such an experience. But anyway, check it out from the brand Unique Luxury. This is called Kutai. But that is it, guys. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this list today. Um, again, these are some fragrances that last at 10 plus hours. So if you're into performance, you're going to love uh, these fragrances because they deliver in the performance category. As always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments out to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or maybe even find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy. Darren, I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.